Before we go through any question in indices, let us brush through the basics first. And that is the laws of indices. Now, here are sample laws of indices that each and every string needs to master. M power A times M power B. Remember, all these are the bases. If the bases are common and the powers are totally different, there's a multiplication sign in between. It's just the same as taking one, the base and then you're adding the powers. And if you have M as a number raised to power A, then in bracket, there's another power. It's just like saying now, the powers will multiply each other at this point. And therefore, M to power A in bracket raised to power X is the same as M raised to power A times X. Now, any number raised to a negative power is the same as what now? 1 over the number raised to the power. So M raised to negative A is equivalent to 1 over M raised to A. Now, the next part is M raised to B all over A is the same as now A root of M all over. Whatever is hidden here is this. M raised to 1 all over A is the same as now the A root of M. Then there's a multiplication of B there. And that is what makes it still stick there. And that is what this law is for. Then we move to the next law. M all over N, all of it in bracket, raised to power A, is the same as M raised to power A all over N raised to the same power A. Then also this law. M raised to power A divided by M raised to power B is the same as now taking the same base but now you're finding the difference between the powers and that should be A minus B. And finally, M raised to power 0 should be equal to 1. Any number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Then the last part is if you have M raised to power A is equal to M raised to power B. Therefore, it qualifies to say that these two powers are equivalent. And that is why I'm writing here A should therefore be equal to B. Now, there's the part that I never mentioned, and this is the part that I skipped. Many students tend to confuse that M to power A plus or minus M to power B can also be represented in this format and this format. There is no law that govern addition of indices. That law does not exist. It's just a formula that you need to come up with to be able to solve questions that add indices. I'll show you an example. Let's take an example question. Here is a question on indices, and I'd like us to go through on how to solve it step by step. Now, we have 1 all over 27 power m times 81 power negative 1 is equal to 243. The question is solve for m. Now, what will be the value of m at this point? So the first step we'll have to do is to make sure we write each and every number here in its lowest index number form. Now, remember, 27 is the same as 3 raised to power 3. 81 will be 3 raised to power 4. And 243 is 3 raised to power 5. So let's plug in all these indices where they are supposed to be. So I'll have 1 all over 3 raised to power 3 in bracket raised to power m times 3 raised to power 4 
Remember, this is 81 raised to power negative 1 to be equivalent to 3 raised to power 5. The next step will be, let me open up this bracket. At the same time, I want to do this side too. So 1 all over 3 raised to power 3m times, that will be 3 raised to power negative 4 is equivalent to 3 raised to power 5. Now remember, there is a law of indices that state that if we have m raised to power negative a, this is the same as 1 all over m raised to power a. This law is what we are going to apply here. Therefore, it is okay for me to say that this 1 all over 3 raised to power 3m is the same as 3 raised to power 3m all of it times negative 1. When the power is negative, therefore you'll have a fraction raised to the power in positive form. Now remember there will be a times this same will remain 3 raised to power negative 4, all of it equivalent to 3 raised to power 5. Okay, up to that point. You can restart the video if at all it was too fast and you are unable to understand any concept. Let us continue. Let me open up this bracket. So that will be, now when you are multiplying two indices with the same base, but the powers are different. It's just the same as adding the powers. Raised to power negative 3m plus negative 4 in a bracket. And that is the same as 3 raised to power 3. And this will be 3 raised to power 5. So up to that point, I hope everything else is clear. Now, if all these bases are the same, therefore it is okay to say that the powers should also be equivalent. And from this point, it is okay for me to say negative 3m, now plus negative 4 is equal to 5. When a positive times a negative will therefore be a negative. So this will be negative 3m minus 4 is equal to 5. From this point, let me collect all the unknowns on one side. A negative 4 will cross this other side and it will be a positive 4. Therefore, the new expression will be negative 3m is equivalent to 5 plus 4. Now, from here, we'll move to the next step and that is negative 3m is equal to 9. Now, at this stage, we can get the value of m by dividing across by negative 3. And when you divide across by negative 3, you'll have m to be equal to negative 3. Because 9 divided by 3 is 3. And remember, this is 9 divided by negative 3. Therefore, the solution there should be 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I wish to see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe.